we are pretty young in offense. Um, but they, you know, they've done a good job in buying in the playbook and trying to learn it. They, you know, they're studying hard and doing all they can to learn. Uh, they're not too worried about uh, who the next head coach is because you know they're trying they're trying to focus on Lake Gibson with the coach Runder right now. So. Um, They've, they've all bought in and they're all trying as hard as they can, which is nice. Well, I think first and foremost was was creating normalcy with our kids. Uh, we were finishing up our off-season weights, conditioning, and and um, you know maintaining what the, the work that those guys have done this whole off-season. But then within our staff and what how we approached our practice out here, um, this has been kind of the same of what we've done for the last three years. And so I think with seeing some of that normalcy. Our kids, uh, there's a comfort level with that. They can come out and just work on fundamentals of football. Scheme may change next year. It may stay the same, just with different terminology. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to go. But blocking's the same, catching's the same, throwing's the same. And so, really fine-tuning those fundamentals and and, uh, and 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 developing work ethic. And I think ultimately, my job as as a coach, as I'm exiting out, I want to create the best situation for this new coach and that's going to be um, you know instilling that that work ethic for our young kids but also you know talking with our seniors and preparing them for change and, and what that means and, and buying into that new staff and, and understanding you know the, the their leadership qualities and characteristics that they're going to have to pass down to those younger guys to, to continue the success of our program. It's really tough because you're scared of the unknown. Um, you don't know what, you don't know if he's going to come in and completely change the offense. You don't know. I mean, what could happen? He could be a. You just you never know. It's kind of scary, but uh, just you know, trusting God that he'll do what's good. He'll do what's best for us.